Hi guys! Today I'm going to share with you 10 things to do before you chop your hair off. Does my hair look green? No? What is going on? You guys, I am so sorry. I don't know why this whole video my hair looks green because you can clearly see there's nothing green about my hair. I toned it today so maybe there's still some of the purple blue in my hair that's giving it like a green tint but look at this next to what I'm filming here so please just ignore the fact that my hair looks green in this video because it's not green it's not green you guys I honestly think I'm gonna start filming on my iPhone because the color is more realistic than my expensive Canon 70D. And now my makeup is a mess because I'm exhausted and I've been editing. So just ignore that too, but enjoy the video. I just gave my hair the big chop and it is finally super healthy. But I understand that it's really hard when you're trying to let your hair grow and it gets damaged for whatever reason and you're kind of forced into cutting it off when you really don't want to. So I just did a video on what my hair looked like before this cut and I will pop up some pictures or video or something here so you can see how destroyed my hair just was. And I went through all 10 of these things to finally come to the conclusion that I had to give it a good cut, reset, restart, and just get rid of all that old dead hair. I have never had my hair that bad other than when I bleached most of it off trying to go gray. I was letting my natural gray roots grow out because I'm almost 100% gray naturally and I was trying to match the roots. So I bleached almost all my hair off to the scalp in a lot of spots, but recently my hair just got really destroyed. So I'm going to share with you guys and hopefully these tips will help you. Number one is only wash your hair once or twice a week. I feel like that is pretty obvious that the more that you're stripping the natural oils out of your hair, the more dry and broken your hair is going to get. But there is a little um, tip that I have. So the healthiest my hair has ever been, I have been using this, head and shoulders two in one. I know a lot of you are going to be like, no, that has sulfates, don't use it. I'm telling you, this makes my hair grow like crazy. I'll tell you why. So I use a ton of products to protect my hair, to coat my hair, and if you use products on your hair, like hairspray, leave-in conditioners, anything like that, you have to strip those products away or they're gonna start building up on your hair. This is kind of like a clarifying shampoo, but it's gentler than an actual clarifying shampoo. Try it, try it, try it. I promise you this will help. I also have lots of favorite conditioners. I love thick, goopy, hydrating, conditioners and I mix them all together. I never use just one conditioner. Well, usually never say never, right? So this is one of my favorites, the L'Oreal El Vive. I will link all of these products down in the description box. They are also in my Amazon store where I purchase them myself. So I can remember what I've purchased and where they are. I can just go in there, find them and get them again. So this is one of my top, top, top favorites is the El Aviv and I'll mix it with anything else hydrating that smells good. I love the, um, I forgot to grab it for you guys, called uh, Color Me Happy and I just love it because it smells so good and I'll mix that in with this and, and just like two, three, four, even five conditioners at once, just gob it onto my hair when I'm in the shower and then rinse it out amazing. Another thing, use a water brush. This water brush is so flexible, soft. I comb all of the conditioner through my hair. So while I'm in the shower, I'm actually 
soaking my hair in conditioner and I just take sections like this and I'm combing the conditioner through or brushing it with this water brush and just like each section I'm combing it through even though it's wet even though I'm in the shower I use this brush and it really gets the conditioner into your hair and works so much better number two is stop using hot tools Obviously, I used a hot tool. I used a straight iron. Um, I do like using a flat iron, a curling iron, and the crimping iron, but I only do it once a week, if that, or less. So either limit or stop using hot tools. Two of my favorite products for wearing my hair natural. Now, I normally have very coarse, frizzy, crazy cavewoman hair. It's not kinky curly, but it's very wavy and frizzy naturally. No matter how healthy it is, it's just the texture of my hair. So when I wear it natural, right out of the shower, these are my faves. This is the Curlsmith Featherlight Protein Cream. It doesn't have a ton of protein. You could use this every day and you're not going to overdo it on the protein. The super, super light amount of protein. And then this is Curly Magic Curl Stimulator with aloe vera, marshmallow, and nettle. So I will use this next. So the this first protein cream on wet hair and then I put this after and I will use a low heat blow dryer and just scrunch it as I'm drying and it holds a natural wave and curl amazing. You also want to protect your hair from the sun the same way that you want to protect your skin from the sun. A lot of these products have sun protection in them so just make sure that your hair is coated with something before you go outside. It's just the same as your skin. Now, Number three is St. Tropica Hair Growth Vitamins. I have been taking these for years. You take one a day. It's a little capsule like this. Take one every single morning with breakfast. They guarantee longer, stronger, thicker hair or your money back. I will link a discount code down below for you guys. If you guys have not tried this, what are you waiting for? Money back guarantee. If you guys check out their website, which I will link below, you can see tons and tons of tons of real people's results for so many different reasons. You will be blown away. Also, a lot of you were asking me, aren't you still taking the hair growth vitamins because of my hair was so damaged and I had to cut it. Nothing is going to protect your hair from COVID, from um, overuse of bleach, from overuse of purple shampoo, from all of those things that was happening to my hair. This is probably why I still have hair on my head because I've been taking these vitamins. And now I know that after cutting so much of my hair off, it's going to grow so fast and so healthy. Number four is a deep conditioning treatments. St. Tropical also has this incredible hair mask. This is all natural ingredients, but you take a mug and you set it in the mug like this so it's open on the top and you put it in the microwave and heat it up and you have a hot oil mask in here. This has all natural ingredients. I actually did this last night. You can actually sleep in it and your hair will feel amazing. If you do it in the morning, I would recommend doing it for at least an hour, but if you sleep in it, you will get the best results. Just put a shower cap over your head, sleep on a towel, and in the morning you wash it out and so hydrated. Number five is a protein treatment. This is G, which is one of my favorites. I started using this when I bleached almost all my hair off. So I keep it in a spray bottle because it's so much easier to apply. You just wash your hair. I just spray it in. I comb it through gently with the wet brush and then you very gently dry it with a hair dryer until it's completely dry. But you don't want to move your hair around because it gets like uh, stiff and crunchy and you don't want to snap your hair. So really follow the directions when you're doing this. Also this protein treatment you only want to do every six weeks. That's all your hair needs. If you do it more than that you're going to damage your hair so it's going to have the reverse effect. 
Then after you're done, it comes with this conditioner. You put this in for two minutes and you're done. Our hair needs two things. It needs protein and it needs moisture to be healthy. Everyone can benefit from a protein treatment, whether you color, you bleach, or your hair is natural or gray, or no matter what it is, you can benefit from a protein treatment. If you have already tried a deep conditioning mask and conditioners and your hair just feels limp, it's not holding a curl, it's just not right, I guarantee that you need protein if moisture is not working. So after the protein, make sure that again, you do a lot of conditioning treatments to see if your hair is gonna balance out and that should make a huge difference. Number six, use hair friendly hair ties. These are some of my favorites. So if you wanna pull your hair back, just use a clip to hold your hair back like that so it's not going to break or damage your hair. If you wear your hair in a ponytail all the time, stop it, you're breaking your hair off. If you have to wear it back, use one of these that I'm showing you. These are amazing, these coily, um, what do you call them? I don't even know what you call them, but check down in the description box. I have all these different colors. Let's do this one. You just gently put it around your hair like that and it keeps it out of the way. Like if you wanna double it up, that's fine. It will protect your hair, not leave big kinks in your hair and keep it out of the way. Or just a regular scrunchie like these, just nice and loosely like that, just holding your hair out of the way. Also, these are incredible. These are actually loose leaf binder rings. That's what I use to organize all of my hair ties. I have like millions of them, so I'll link this down below for you guys too. Number seven is get your water tested, or if you already know that you have hard water or water that's not good, get a water filter. They are cheap, inexpensive. They last for, I think, like six months, depending on how much you use your shower. You just attach them on there. I will put up a clip here of the one that I installed in my shower. I did it myself. Super simple, very easy way to have your hair softer and healthier. It also helps with your skin. Number eight is a glossing treatment. This is L'Oreal Le Color Gloss, One Step Toning Gloss. This is for blonde hair and it's actually purple. This is like a, woo, <laughs> like a deep conditioning treatment. Oh, it smells so good and it's toning and it leaves a gloss on your hair. So they have all different colors that you can get for different hair colors. This would be great if you have naturally gray hair or blonde, like even my color blonde, which is like a neutral medium blonde. Number nine is leave in treatment. I have so many I'm gonna show you. Okay, so first, this is the heat protector that I use. This is Sun Bum. You shake it up and it has like these glistening particles in there. I absolutely love this. K18, I've been using for, I wanna say a year now, and I don't use it every single time I shower because you do not put conditioner in. You just wash your hair with a clarifying shampoo, and then I use the water brush to comb it through. I, again, do it in sections, and this repairs your hair actually from the inside out in a molecular level. So it's repairing deep inside the hair shaft. This is a whole other level than the Olaplex that heals in a molecular sense. This, if you guys even Google it, you will see how people are raving about it. Hairdressers are using it to save people's hair. This is a must try. I would say I use this about once a month. And the other times I'm washing, I'm using deep conditioners or the gloss. Speaking of Olaplex, I love number six and number seven of the Olaplex. This is Olaplex number six Bond Smoother. This is a cream and I'm almost out. You can see it's almost empty. So I will be ordering this right after the video. This is super hydrating and it helps repair your hair. It's a leave-in treatment. And the Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Oil. This is amazing. You just put a 
few drops into your hand, even when your hair is dry. And rub your hands together and just run it through your hair. You can do this wet or dry. I do this every day just to continue hydrating my hair in between washes and after washes. It is so good for your hair. When you try this, you are gonna be hooked. If you guys saw my other video where, my last video where my hair was just destroyed, you're probably blown away by how healthy my hair is right now since I cut it and have used all of these products. It is just like, night and day, even better than my last video. Like I said, because I'm making all of these changes that I've known about all along, but I wasn't practicing them all at once until now. I think it was kind of a wake up call watching my hair just kind of fall apart again because I was really slacking on all of the things that I knew would keep my hair healthy. And now here is the proof that the products that I'm using are really, truly working and for me all i needed is to cut all of that unsavable hair off and start again and now i know that i can keep it super healthy and i am not slacking anymore some more of the leave-in products i'm going to show you a bunch of them i rotate i do use all of these obviously not at once but i rotate them depending on what my hair needs another one is this luscious 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 locks leave-in conditioner this is also saint tropica which is also on the same website as the hot oil mask hot oil mask and the St. Tropic Hair Growth Vitamins, all of these are on their website. So if you're gonna go there and try out the vitamins, get all of these products, you will not regret it. This smells so amazing. This is another one that I just spray into my hair, even when it's dry. Oh my God, it smells so good. All of these products from St. Tropica are natural, like there's, coconut oil in here and so many health healing products or ingredients. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Smells amazing. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. You will love it. I also love this Color Wow. This is a one minute transformation cream. You can put this in just like when it's dry. You just put a little bit or a lot depending how much you want and it's just a cream like that and you just put this on your frizzies or your split ends so my hair is already styled it's not going to wreck the style you just put it anywhere that your hair is like flying away or you want to eliminate frizz and another product that works so great for my hair a few more of my favorites. These are all from Sun Bum, and these are new products that I've been using for a few weeks, and I am so hooked. This one is Sun Bum Tone Enhancer. This is actually purple, a purple leave-in conditioner. Hopefully you can see that. It's not super dark, but it helps to tone blonde hair, gray hair, or brassy hair. Absolutely love it, and it hydrates at the same time. I also bought this anti-frizz oil mist. This is amazing. Makes your hair look great. I think this is the one that helps with sun protection, and it smells so amazing. All of the Sun Bum products smell like you're at the beach, so if you like that smell, you will love these too. And the last leave-in product from Sunbum is this three-in-one leave-in conditioner. You just spray it and it's just a conditioner that you leave in your hair. And my hair does not look greasy or weighed down at all. So these products are amazing. Even if you have hair that is not as dry as mine, just pick and choose which ones you wanna use at the time and it will make a really big difference. And another obvious one, stop bleaching your hair. 
I have not bleached my hair in a really long time. The last thing I did to my hair was a Color Oops color remover, and I'll put that video down below if you guys wanna check that out. But instead of bleaching, I didn't wanna damage my hair, so I did a color remover. So I went from a brown hair dye to this blonde with no bleach. So that is one thing that I completely stopped doing is bleach. That is just a recipe for disaster. If you're already having dryness and problems with your hair, just you gotta stop the bleach, you guys. You can try the color remover, but the bleach is just gonna destroy your hair even further. If you're naturally gray, this is not gonna apply to you, but if you're, you have your beautiful natural silvers, I would recommend doing the color gloss for sure. That will tone your beautiful silvers and give it some shine. And I just wanna throw this in because every time I do a hair video, one of you guys or a bunch of you end up asking me, are you thinking about ever going gray again, letting your natural gray grow out? Absolutely, I think about it all the time. Probably every day I think about it. And when I'm ready again, I will do it. For those of you who don't know, I actually ruined my natural gray hair after growing it out for 15 months with a flat iron that was too hot. It, I, I was like devastated. So thinking about going through that long of a time at, with the grow out process, I'm just not ready. I, I'm not ready yet, but I will be. And yes, I think about it all the time. And for all of you who have done it, don't give up because if I didn't ruin my hair, I would have full on gray hair right now and be rocking it. So all of you silver beauties out there, keep rocking that gray hair because I will be right next to you very soon. Maybe. <laughs> or someday anyway. So if you do color your hair, what I recommend is to actually take the color for 10 minutes and run it through the rest of your hair. It kind of might seem counterproductive to you. And that is what I did to my hair just a couple of weeks ago and it made a really big difference. I ran the color through the ends of my hair for around 10 minutes, no longer than that. I was touching up my roots. I got an extra bottle of hair dye and I ran it through the rest of my hair. What that does, if your hair is bleached, overprocessed, dull, dry, or the gloss is not giving you enough of a filler for the color, that will actually fill the hair shaft and make it feel smoother and look shinier. That made just such a huge difference. The hair color that I use is Isalon. It is a subscription. I use a medium neutral blonde. You can go on their website. I do have a discount code. You can do a subscription or not. You can just purchase it each time if you just wanna try it out. But if you do a subscription, you'll save money. Obviously you can cancel any time that you want. You can change the delivery date to like every, um, I think it's month, two months, three months, four months, however long you want, but you can get any color that you want. You can talk to a live person. You can upload pictures. I definitely recommend if you color your hair, try out eSalon. All right, that is it. I hope this gave you guys some good ideas to save your hair, to heal your hair, and I'm totally not saying don't cut your hair because obviously I just did. I cut a lot, maybe six or more inches off my hair. But this video I made specifically, if you really, really don't wanna cut your hair, try all of these things first. Give it one month, I would say. Well, the St. Tropica Hair Growth Vitamins, give it two months for sure. Don't, don't say after a month it didn't work. Give it two full months. So if you can hold off, wait two months, maybe just like, cut off the, the dead ends of your hair. A, a little tip is you take your hair like this and you twist it like this and you can just snip off the dead ends like this without cutting any length or damaging your hair. You don't know, you don't have to know how to cut hair to do something like that, but it will just kind of buy you time as you're healing your hair. And then after two months, you can make a decision if you wanna do the big chop like I did or 
just go for it now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. You can also click the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of all of the videos that I upload. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Bye!